now in this in this video we'll talk about uh, we'll do one thing we'll uh, we'll take a number so instead of uh, let me remove all these lines so as we know we'll be requiring CLI, CLI and get so we'll put it there now let's say I have a int variable called as n and the value for n is let's say 24 now I want to check this 24 is a even number or odd number that means I want to do some operations and then depend upon the output I want to give the answer as it is even or is it odd number now how to check a given number is, is even or, or odd if that number is divided if it is divisible by 2 it means it's an even number otherwise it's an odd number that means now how to check if the number is divisible now when you say the number is divisible by this number the remainder will be 0 now how to get the remainder so we have a special type of symbol called as percentage sign also called as modulus so this mod is used to find the remainder now what I mean by that is if I say n mod 2 okay and let me just print the value of n mod 2 so what I will do is I will say double quotes let's say person d comma and let me just print this value now if you print this value the answer you will be getting is 0 it's because the remainder is 0 now there's a, there's a difference between divide and mod if you say divide it will get quotient if you say mod you will get remainder what if my number is instead of 24 if my number is 25 if I run this code the answer is 1 right it's because the remainder is 1 now instead of let's say if I instead of 2 if I say 10 that means if I 25 mod 10 will give me remainder as 5 right so this symbol mod here gives you remainder now I don't want to print the remainder I want to check the remainder depend upon the remainder I will say it's is it even or odd so when you say you want to check something you have to use a if condition now if is also called as branching statement now how to check for the condition you have to write that condition which is n mod 2 what I want I want this n mod 2 be to compare with 0 if this is 0 then the number is even number but hold on when you say equal to sign is it an assignment operator we have used here also this this equal to means assignment operator that means to compare we have to use double equal to so single equal to means assignment operator and double equal to means uh, a comparator operator now so if always goes with this curly brace, curly and open brace, if you have multiple statement, if you have only one statement inside if, you don't require those curly braces. So what we'll do here, we'll say uh, just uh, even number. If it's not an even number, what we'll print is, we'll say else. So if it's not if, then it will be else, like we use in no normal English language. Uh, so we'll say print f and here we'll print odd number so we'll say odd number simple and we don't want to print the remainder we just want to check if it's an even number or odd number if I run this code obviously this 25 is a odd number if I run this code now the answer is odd number right what if I change the value of uh, this n if I make this n as let's say if I make this as 24 th now this number is even number simple so this is how you have to find even odd numbers with the help of if else condition 